Guys, this is uh, Katie Perry thinking of you, how to play it on the guitar. This is exactly how Katie plays it. Um, because, you know, I've watched her play it and there's tabs and I just learned how to play it basically. So, um, first off, you start with the, you know, the intro that goes throughout the whole of the verses. And at one point, it's. Um, Cleaned up when it was after the chorus, um, but basically, so on the A string, second from bottom, you're going seventh fret. So seventh fret on the A string, and then the two strings below it, you're doing it on the ninth. So basically, seven. Nine, nine. So that's the first bit, and then you do you move the seventh one on your first finger up to the first, and then move it for the third chord up to the ninth fret, the fourth chord, you let go. That's basically the four chords, power chords, whatever you want to call them, throughout the whole of the verses. So that's the verse. And then for the pre chorus, you go, f you'd, you'd just finish the chorus, so you'd be here. You'd slide your two fingers all the way down to the second and put your first finger on, not the top string, the A string. So, stuff like that. Then you move, slide it all up to the fourth. Then A chord. But A chord without the bottom. So you use um the G on the second fret and um the D on the second fret. Do that again. So then you go into A minor, which is the B string, second string from the top on the first fret, and then the two above it, both on the second on the second fret. And then you go into the chorus, which is E minor. So that's your second and third finger on the um, A and the D string. So that one and that one. And then and then on the G, first fret, E minor. Second chord, you move these two fingers down one and bring this finger up to the second fret. And then third, you just left just lift your finger off. And then you do it again, so it'll sound. these two fingers up to the fourth fret and put this your first finger second fret second string down back onto the E minor it's like the same let go then you go back to the A minor which is what you just learned so that one, that one, and that one. Then you go back into all the way up here, slide up onto the seventh, but it's faster this time.
back down into the pre-chorus. Oh yeah, I forgot that bit. And then you go, you go from here up to the 12th fret, slide all the way to the 12th fret, 12, 10, and then back into the A minor. And then you go back into the chorus again. And then we have the bridge, and the bridge goes like this. So you would have just gone from the at the end of the chorus. You slide these two fingers up to the fourth, and put this. Put your first finger on the second of the second string. Sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> you slide it up to the sixth fret and put that on the 4th and then you slide down to the 2nd fret but move everything up so it would be 1st finger on the 2nd fret top string and the 2 strings below it on the 4th fret so then A chord and if you want that da -da -da -da, you just press down on the last string. So the A chord is 2nd fret, 2nd fret, 2nd fret. Do it again. So, all together, or the separate parts together, is seventh on. So the the verse would go seventh on the A, seventh on the top string, the E, silent to the ninth, and let go. The pre-chorus, second on the A string. E minor. Let's go. Again. E minor. E minor. And then the bridge, fourth and sixth. So that's basically the whole of Kid Perry thinking of you. Um, obviously, if you know the song, you can work out where the parts go. But that's pretty much in order of how it goes. Okay. Then.